What up guys, your boy Carl this and we're back with another one. Now today I just want to go over something that may be a little bit of a spoiler, but I feel like I've waited long enough to show this video. Now you get these weapons that I'm about to showcase and a spell from beating the last boss. You get two different variants of the same weapon and you get a faith spell. And I'll show the faith spell last because I'm going to have to re-roll because you have to have, I think, 72 faith to wield that. And I'm on a strength faith build with more strength than faith. So, you know, we'll get into that. So, as you can see, these are uh, Radon weapons, just like the original Star Scourge. The only thing is that the weapon art has changed. These are the two weapons. You have the Lord version and the Light version, and I am only have them the plus nine right now because I'm not 100% sure if I want to use them because uh, there's so many different weapons that I'm messing with right now. So, you know, I may use them, may not, but just keep in mind everything we're about to showcase is at plus nine damage, which isn't that bad. We're only missing out on, like, another extra couple hundred points of damage overall just based on scaling and having it as a plus 10. Now with that said these are the same exact move set as the original Radons. As you can see here there's nothing that has changed. The only thing that has changed of course is the Ash of War and I'll go ahead and show you this one. So that's the Lord version, and I think that's really good. Uh, it's actually very, very strong. It surprised me. It's very good for, obviously, situations where you're getting mobbed down. It can be very good in PvP if you're dealing with a gang squad. And it's actually very good on single target. Now I'm going to switch out to the light version and show you the difference. Like I said, still the same moveset. Nothing has changed. As soon as you go into the Ash War, though, you can see it's more single target damage, and you can do it from a little bit farther away as you can see that over there was come in on the grace a little bit further away so let's go test on something okay starting off we're using the great sword of dawn lord version keep in mind it is a plus nine but i'm going to use it on this test dummy what's up big dog you see it's actually pretty good for single target it doesn't do bad damage at all. You will have to eat some hits, and that's okay. Moving on to the next one. And now we're just going to showcase the light version. Now, I really like the light version. Uh, you can get people from a little bit further away, and I feel like it might be better uh, for PvP just because it has the single target uh, damage, or it's more focused on a single target, but you can definitely get away with mobs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. What's up, big dog? As you can see, I feel like it's a little bit faster because it has more burst damage because it's more focused on the single target. As you can see, it also hits in a small AOE around, so you can get things, but it's usually like focused right in front of you like these. So that's the two weapons. Uh, you can choose to run either both of them or one of them if you want after watching this video. That's the whole reason I'm making this, just for information for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into that faith spell and maybe a little bit of PvP. All right, guys, and last off, we have Light of Mikola, which is the third thing that you can get from the final boss fight. It does take up two slots, so let me go ahead and show you that. As you can see, we have it set here. This is what it does. Annihilates foes with the Pillar of Light. It does take 72 faith to wield this, so this is for a pure faith build. Like I said, it does take up two slots, so if I get rid of it, I have two slots open. And as soon as I put it back on, it takes them back up again. So this is actually pretty cool. You can cast it from very, very far away. Uh, this is just free aim. Whoops. <laughs> wrong one this is free aimed as you can see it's very deep over there and if you have fought the last boss you know exactly what this spell is it is so annoying so annoying oh oh <laughs> we just blasted something over there <laughs> quite nice but yeah let's go ahead and test this on our favorite little dummy up there and see how it does against him let's see Ooh, that's some damage. Okay. Let's see if we can get him. I'm going to cast it right down on top of me. And maybe dance into it. I think that's probably how you want to do it. Looks like it does solid damage. Uh, that was some big chunk damage on that guy. But yeah, if I was going to do PvP with this, uh, like when I PvP against Mist, I'm probably going to just target straight down on the ground. Because it looks like it leaves me open for uh, a possible backstab, so... I'm not sure how good that's going to be in PvP, but for PvE, this looks solid. Especially if you're someone that sets in the back and casts spells, you could do some serious damage and support your team. Alright guys, so I'm going to showcase the Lord version of this weapon. Uh, keep in mind, it is just a plus 9, so you, know, you can get more damage out of it. This is the one that I feel like is better suited for PvE, just because it has an AoE. 
With me is one of my good friends I play with, your maiden list, if you see that name, do not <laughs> mess with him, he's very good at PvP. He's kindly enough to come help me out with this. Uh, his name on Steam and everything is Miss, so if you want to go check him out on YouTube or anything, he is a solid gamer. You ready, bub? Yep, let's do it. Let's see how these work. Oh my god! <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> totally fair, dude. You just need points to get through it. <laughs> if you would have hit me like at least one or two more times, I would have bled. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have died too. Oh man. That's just me spep uh, spamming the uh, weapon art of Ashes of War. Alright, let's That's switch that out. All right, guys, so now we're using the light version of it, which I think may be better suited for PvP just because it is single target and it has a little bit higher burst because it's more like, uh, you know, locked on to the target. You ready, bub? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, that does solid damage. <laughs> Go for the bleed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the reach! That is so unfair! Anyways, that's how they're working in PvP. As you can see, I didn't do much. I just literally spammed Ashes of War. And now I'm good. Thank you, Dark Souls. Alright guys, we're going to showcase a little bit more PvP with my boy. Uh, now, I did switch some Talismans around. Uh, just try to speed this up a little bit. So we have Faithful Canvas, which allows us to have a little bit more damage or potency of our incantations. And also switch over to Beloved Stardust, which you get here in the DLC. Shortens the casting speed, but it makes us take more damage. So we'll see how this goes. He's a damn good PvP. I'm pretty sure he's not going to get hit by this, but it is what it is. You ready, big dog? Yeah, you never know. Oh, God, that thing. <laughs> okay, <that's sick. laughs> oh, using the sleep, huh? Where are, you, where are you aiming that? I aimed it straight down, but it looked like it went above me, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's hitting above me. There it is. Okay, so maybe I do have to walk up. You're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dance in this. Is what, I don't see this being good at PvP at all. <laughs> I'm like just straight fighting now. <laughs> I try to get you in that corner. Let's see. I don't know where you're aiming that thing, buddy. <laughs> oh. So don't use this in PvP unless you have like a a little group to. <laughs> To uh, keep the mind of the uh, the invader, because <laughs> I don't really see this being that good. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to shoot that straight down at the ground for some reason. I guess that's as close as it gets. What you would want to do is kind of what I was trying to do is bait them into the attack, or whatever. It just wasn't happening as well because he's he's no fool. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Later, guys.